One CNC wire EDM provides the ability to work with wireframe geometry and solid models. Now to apply a toolpath, all you do is head over to the main toolbar and select toolpaths. You can select closed, open, four axis, EDM hole, EDM shape, or custom code. Now to apply a machining operation, all you have to do is select the start point, the profile, the direction inside, and here's your dialog box. First thing you want to do is set up how many passes you want to take. You can also designate the direction of the passes and you can save those for later work. Here's your different cutoff parameters, standard, glue gap, and punch cut. Each one of these have parameters that you can easily set up. Notice how you can also set up the blending for those parameters like circular and deburr. In the upper right hand corner we have compensation, automatic, none, and machine for G41 and G42. Also you can specify a taper angle, just type in the angle and away you go. Also you have control over your approach and depart. There's your start codes, auto threading, auto wire cut. All that looks great so we'll click OK and there's the tool path. Very very quick and efficient. Now let's preview this. I'm going to rotate this around just a little bit and here you can see the wire making its cut. Very very fast and efficient. All right, now let's take a look at cutting one of those D-holes. We're going to use exactly the same machining operation that we used before. So what we'll do is we'll head over to the main toolbar, select Toolpath, Close Profile. We're going to grab our start point, the profile. This time I'm just going to make one pass. That looks good. And we'll click OK, and there you go. Now let's take a look at the EDM hole and EDM shape. These work very much like pocket cycles, except you're using a wire instead. We'll use EDM hole for this demonstration. And down in the lower right hand corner, you'll notice there's a step over amount. I'll click OK and zoom in, and there you go. Very, very nice. All right, now, if you want to create CNC code, just select your post processor, select post, designate where you want to save the file, and click yes. Now, if you decide you want to use a different machine, that's no problem. Just right hand mouse click. This time, from your post, select a different post processor. That looks good. We'll hit post and click save. And there we go, there's your new CNC program. Now let's take a look at 4-axis. Now 4-axis works with, again, solid models or wireframe geometry. Very, very simple to use. And we'll head over to the main toolbar, and this time we'll use 4-axis cut. Again, select your start point, select the profile, the direction, and notice how the parameters here within this dialog box are identical to the ones we looked at earlier. It's a very fast learning curve, very quick and efficient. I'm going to say all this looks good, so what we'll do is we'll head over here and we'll click OK, and there's the wire cut. Now let's preview this, so right hand mouse click, preview, and there's the 4-axis wire. Very very quick. Creating CNC code is identical to that within the 2-axis wire. All you have to do is just right hand mouse click up there in the upper right hand corner in the toolpath group, and select post group, select the machine that you'd like to use, say that looks good, hit post, click save, and there's your CNC program. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.